One day I was browsing Instagram and I saw all of these crazy paintings that use magnetic paint and crazy strong magnets to make some crazy effects. Like It's crazy. Look at this. Did I say crazy too many times? No, it's the perfect amount. <laughs> okay, awesome. The creator of these crazy videos, REM underscore owl on Instagram, very cool, but they didn't really share their process on how they made the paint, how far away the magnets were from the paint, or any of those crazy details. So today, I thought it'd be really fun to just do some experiments. We have all sorts of iron powder filings, paints and gels and mediums. Strong and magnets. Fast drying plaster. We're gonna mix all sorts of things up. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. So this is the magnet that came with this ferrofluid. And one thing that I noticed that's really interesting is the farther you pull the magnet away, it changes the, the shape. bigger the shapes are, right? Yeah. And this is with a small magnet. I'm gonna upgrade to a slightly bigger, slightly bigger, I'm saying that in air quotes, but this magnet Massive. is massive, it's dangerous. This magnet is like an inch away from the vera fluid and, and it's already it's attracting in. it. But the interesting thing is, since it's so far away, it's getting these like massive spikes. And yeah, as you get closer, the strength increases and the spikes actually get really, really fine. I have all sorts of other different shapes. I have- uh, Oh, the ring is cool. Ring, isn't that neat? That's really cool. I really so cool. hope we can recreate something like this in paint. The orientation of some magnets is important too. And you can see this magnet, the most powerful one we have. That one has a chip in it. Yeah, I, I, I lost control of it <gasps> when I was putting it up once and it hurt my fingers and it chipped the magnet. This is a danger magnet. Anyways, Ooh, I have that's... an X on two sides of it. And you can see that uh, that X is the north-south pole alignment. But one interesting thing is if you turn it sideways, Whoa. you get a very different effect. Right? That's so weird. And like the, the orientation of the magnet is really important too, is the main thing that I was trying to impart yeah. with that. So like when we use these, we need to make sure we're putting it in the right way. Yeah. And as you can see, I made these like little custom holders to hold the magnet. So basically this is just like a thin piece of metal that's adhered onto this 3D print. I'm hoping that we'll have four final pieces that we'll be able to stack in this frame like this and make like a, a finished piece of art. So the canvas is ready, the magnet is ready, time to mix some paint. We are gonna use magnetic iron powder mixed into paints and other mediums, and then we want all of that to like cure and solidify. So in the end, we have paintings that have this same cool texture created by the magnet. One of the like secret sauces that I think is gonna be really interesting that we can contribute is fast drying gypsum plaster. And I think that I wanna mix that into the paint mixture to like add some rigidity to the, to the final thing. Like honestly, one thing that would be great is resin. resin but maybe we'll save that for another stream if this works well. And we have a whole bunch of pigments, mixins, mica powders, all sorts of stuff. I'm really excited about the duochrome pigments. This is wildly expensive. Yeah, so maybe we don't start there. This, this bag right here is like $20. That's an expensive pigment. Let's start with the cheap ones. Let's start with the cheap ones. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of water. All right, so here's the gypsum cement mixture that we have so far. And but then... this is gonna start drying. I know, that's why I'm gonna mix in some acrylic gel medium that looks like this. I'm gonna scrape that in. That should slow down the process a lot. You want some pigment? Yeah. And now the most are, important thing- Are we thing, paying attention to amounts at all? No, it's just vibes, man. <laughs> we need to pour in some iron filings. Ooh. Why don't you choose a liquid dye? Okay, we'll mix some. Some mica powder and some liquid dye and it's science and we're doing science and we're not measuring anything. This is- We're going on vibes! <laughs> now while I mix this up, I think it'd be nice. Ooh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and get a acrylic paint and paint this red some too? I'm gonna get my danger cube out and see if this is magnetic. Oh! Oh, Whoa. it's magnetic! Whoa! You can see it pulling it. 
Wow, it's like it's separating like it. Yeah, it's separating it. Feel how, like feel pull this magnet away. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's why it's a danger magnet. Oh, it is a danger magnet. Whoa, jeez. Oh. I'm not done. I, I didn't, I I didn't smooth good. it. I think the edges good. are all gloopy. They're going to be. I think that's great. The edges are gloopy. Oh, it's pulling it. Whoa. Whoa. Weird. That is great. That's really cool. It looks like a, like a, like a meteor hit the ground or something. What if I just... I don't like that as much. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like apply magnetic paint a little bit all over, then I'll move the magnet around and see if the magnet can spike it, and then I'll Wait, settle like... it in the, in the middle. Okay. Whoa. 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 I'm like pulling the sludge with me. You are. Like look at how cool that looks when it's being spiked. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's staying now. If Maybe. I'm farther away. Oh, because when you're farther away, the spikes go out farther, right, just like we tested with the ferrofluid. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Okay, but I wanna, I wanna add some nice thick elements to the center of this. I think that there's a good amount of magnetic shavings in here, because like we're getting a lot of good like. Uh, good spikes in the middle. Good spikes in the middle. Maybe what we do is we mostly focus on the middle instead of trying to spread the magnetic paint all the way out. I'm still, whoa! Oh yeah! That's a big spike. Oh, here, I actually got this light off to the side. Oh, yeah! Oh, you can yeah, see it so much really better. See it. I do kind of like that the um, underside was painted. Yeah. Now you have like a nice under color. Yeah, and you could probably even do this with like two contrasting colors to make that effect even greater. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Or like, ooh, ooh. Or imagine ooh. doing like a neon if we had the black underneath. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that angle shows it a right lot. Right there. Yeah, when the light's kind of coming from the front. Ooh, black with neon underneath. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I am down. Do you want to start painting a canvas neon? Yeah. Neon orange. Yellow neon glow in the dark. They don't look as neon it, on camera as they do in person. In person, this looks like radiant. On camera, it looks like the same color as the table. Maybe I could do a little bit of each. I could do like a gradient. <gasps> yeah, that sounds nice. So I might, I might do these three in this order, like that. I don't want to like swipe it because I don't want to move the paint around. Yeah. Oh, it's getting pulled. Oh. Now, the shape that Caitlin's working with right now is the uh, ring. Ooh. Ooh, do you want to leave the center of the ring? Let's leave the center out. Not touched. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think, I think one thing we should do is when I paint the next one, I should just paint a few in a few different colors so that they can start drying. Mm. The next one I think we should do is we should do this clover one, which isn't as strong. Yeah. They're much smaller magnets. So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah. But I think I like the matching more than the contrasting. Should I mix up the next batch or do you want to try mixing a, no, a batch? No, you can do it. Okay, while, while you're painting. Stances, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want me to paint another blue? I feel like it's kind of a nice color. Or I can do like a uh, teal. Move on to a different color. Cause I'll I think it'd teal. be nice to have like four contrasting colors. Not contrasting, but like four different colors. Yeah. These magnets aren't as crazy strong as others, but I'm curious to see what effect they have. Oh yeah. So I'm still getting some. Still getting the spikes. I'm still getting some spikes. Interesting. 
some of the magnets, it's like repelling it. Yeah, that's weird. It's almost leaving like a space in the middle. Overlapping magnetic fields. Yeah, I think that's what's going on because there's there's four magnets down there. Would be cool to paint on the iron mix on the canvas while it's off the magnets, then put it on and see how it moves. Oh, yeah, we should do stuff like this for all of them. Yeah, so it's just like a thick globby paint straight up. I'm gonna put the thing with the magnets in place, lower it down. We're doing it with the weakest magnets, I think. Change of plans, guys. We're swapping to the biggest magnet. Ready? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, that's from moving. Me. That one moved. That one moved. Look at it. But it's not doing that much, honestly. I feel like the brush helps it out. But I do kind of like doing a full coat, setting it down, and then adding some more on. Oh, geez. Time to add suppressants. Okay, Evan's adding some spacers. Those are some serious spikes. Real big spikes. Look at that. That's a nice uh, explosion in the ocean. It got pretty tall. All right, I'm liking, I'm liking these two more solid color ones. Yeah, I like those two. They as kind well. of go together as a set, also. Yeah. This one was an interesting experiment. And this is what your future could have looked like if you had have made different choices. Spare me these sick and twisted visions. Um, excuse me. What's going on? Remember that product idea we had a long time ago? It really took off in my timeline. Yeah, the moodering toilets? Yes! You have to make a website and sell it. But I don't know how to make a website. Neither did I, until I met today's sponsor, Squarespace. Create your website with Squarespace's easy to use professional templates. Or start a completely personalized website with the new guided system, Squarespace Blueprint AI. And once you open your store, you can accept payment in flexible ways like buy now, pay later. With their search engine optimization tools, their fluid engine, their unrivaled suite of visual design effects, and many easy to use plugins, Squarespace is designed to sell. Don't let your dreams only be true in an alternate reality. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash EK2 for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Do you want to do another one another of these? Another ring? Yeah, let's another do ring? it. All right, cool. Especially because we weren't as crazy about this one. Yeah. So you're okay try with it with thinner paint. We could try it with like a thinner mix. Like a, a more runny mix? Mm -hmm. Just to yeah. see how it changes. As chat requests, we shall abide. We shall proceed. We shall indulge. All right, so more matte medium, less of the gypsum. Oh yeah. Right, it's, it's, it's much. It's much runnier. Runnier. But I think this will be interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. And what shape is this, the ring? This is the ring. Okay. That might get yanked down here at the end. Moved a little bit. Look, it's like there's like air pockets. There's like, yeah, there's bubbles. What? I think it works way better, like. When you like push it around. Oh, now, no, no, look at that. It's raising. It's raising. I think there's like too much resistance to raise even, on its own. It even needs to Even with be, high flow. Yeah, even with higher flow, it needs to be agitated more. But it's interesting. I'm comparing this to the last one I did, which was also the ring. Yeah. Um, and I feel like we're getting like finer, hairier spikes. Chad's so recommending that we running. vibrate it. Like put it on and then vibrate it and see if it flows. We could get... The vibrating table? We could get out, or just a, the small vibrator. <laughs> we could. Is it with and, the concrete see, supplies? It's, it's in our project supplies room. We can get it. We can get it. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, cool. I know where it is. <laughs> you find it? I found it. Is it in pulse mode? Chat suggesting pulse mode. No, no, this isn't. Wait, are there a different? There's pulse mode. We tried it. <laughs> On the concrete. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Is it, is it flowing? I don't see it flowing I don't at all. See it flowing. Guys, I'm really trying here. Low, medium, high. Ooh. Strong vibrations. Yes.
I think we can call it. It's just adding annoying noise. <laughs> Trouble finding the right spot. <laughs> I tried all the spots, chat, okay? <laughs> okay, so we have two. Yeah. We have three that are nice. And it'll be interesting to see um, how that one dries. I thought it was maybe a smidge easier to work with, especially on the spreading out portion, the slightly mm. thinner, but I don't know how it's gonna dry compared to the other ones. Yeah, because if you look at this, oh my gosh, wow, guys. So the blue, look at how matte that is. And it looks very dry. Yeah, it's dry to the touch. And this, if you look at it, very, very wet. Very wet. So I think I like the, the gypsum addition because drying is important. Expensive paint? I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's really gonna show up. You mean the the expensive paint, the duochrome? Yeah, like for the last one. Let's do a magnetic one. Okay. The really expensive stuff. Okay. I think we should do. I think we should do a duochrome. Okay. And that's the most duochrome we have. Okay. We'll try it once. Can you also get a Ziploc bag, baby? Yeah. I want to try and experiment with this. You gonna pipe it like frosting? No. So basically. I'm gonna do an experiment that gets the danger magnet close to the magnetic paint. Okay, so I'm taking this pristine danger magnet. I wanna see if I can raise up. Oh! oh. Yeah, and leave it spiky. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, it is Guys, staying spiky. Oh, the spikes. It's holding pretty well. Oh, it looks like, like a crazy, like, Glass. like, like if a lizard had fur. We already have an interesting texture going on. And I'll set that down there. Mm -hmm. And that already has a nice head start. So this is a big circle explosion. And here is the last one we did. So you can see how big of a difference. Yeah. Now I don't know, in some ways I almost like this one, the last one better. Mm. Cause I think when we don't get so big with the spikes, they have a lot more detail. And I mm. kind of like the detail over just like purely height. So it's not just the size, it's the, the quality. Exactly. It's not just the size, it's the level of how many spikes it has. <laughs> it's like too mashed down or something. It's like, is That's it why I'm trying to like, Oh, I'm adding more texture. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like vigorously stabbing. Now it's yeah. kind of like a hedge. It's a magical yes. hedge. But I feel like now it has kind of like more detailed spikies. Okay. I don't know, personally I, I like that look. All right, yeah. I think I'm gonna use this purple. Okay. Um, for the expensive stuff. Okay. Okay, you guys, the expensive pigment. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know. It's so it's like beautiful. peacock feather type material. I hope it still comes through. Uh, Do you want to just hold it? I feel like we don't need both of our hands in there. But I don't want to let go if you're counting on me it, holding I it. it. I got okay. it. All right, let's see. Don't disappear, don't disappear. I think water would be good. Whoa! So it kind of just looks gray. I'm, I'm seeing some shimmer. I'm seeing some shimmer. It's mostly gray. What if we had more? <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, it was worth it. I think the iridescent beauty might have just been... On the top. Surface level. Yeah, it, uh, it just kind of looks like gray. <laughs> oh no, for a moment, the for a glory- For a moment, it was amazing. The glory was realized. Maybe it just needs to be thicker. You know what would be a more efficient use of powder? Sprinkle, Sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle it on after. The thing is like, how are we gonna dust it on? I think we'd have to like let it dry, spray it with like an adhesive and then dust it. You know what I mean? So sad, cause like, I, look at I that. I see it in the chunks. Maybe when you add the chunks, maybe, I think it's just like- Look at that. I, I think just chunk it on. I think it's gonna come back. Oh yeah, see, I see some of it in that. In some places. I don't understand. <laughs> Most expensive gray paint ever, no! No! <laughs> it's 
could be a really good idea or a really bad idea. It's dusting, but like it also has to stick and stay, you know? My worry is it's not gonna stick. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Are you gonna like press it in with a brush? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so much. Wow. I mean, okay, it's looking cool. I just hope it doesn't like all fall off when we turn it vertical. If you turn it to the side, will it fall off? Mm. Okay, it stays somewhat, at least if we're not tapping it. Look at that. You can see the color change because like it's purple and then it's teal. Purple, teal. It is, it's a cool pig. Oh yeah, purple to teal, look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh. oh look so at how pretty cool. your eyes are, Juby, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Wow, so, um, so I think that we have some good candidates here. I like this, this one because it's a different color. I like this duochrome one because we have to, it's expensive. We'll do the circles kind of like this. You think that's a nice arrangement? I think that's a nice arrangement. From the top, it doesn't look as impressive. No, it doesn't. Yeah, the duochrome is the coolest. We do have the cheaper duochromes. Do we want to try that? I'm going to try or one. Or the only other thing though is with the mic is it's hard for the pigment to like show up as much. I think the, 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 the... I think the dusting technique works. I think if we mm. do any more mica powders, we should just dust it on. Like tint it with, um, like get the color right with a liquid tint and then dust oh, on the pigment. You wanna try that? Oh, yeah. Now, in terms of the hyper shift, we could... Let's do the, let's do the pink, cause that's more different. But is it really shift? Yeah, it's orange to pink. Orange to pink? Yeah. Okay. Cool to airbrush paint them afterwards. Yeah, that would that be That would be really cool, yeah. There's a lot of potential. Yeah, a lot of things this. you could do after. Like I do think the most efficient way would probably be just don't bother with color in the moment and airbrush it after, especially yeah. if you're gonna do all a solid color. I have glitter paints. Ooh, let's mix in some glitter. And it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Well, we're gonna dust it with powder anyway, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try one more time at spiking it all up. Yeah, like you did with the grass. Like I did with the grass. I think that mm -hmm. was that was a cool, cool one. I like that. It's like you have like a war like a sandworm under the earth's surface doing zigzags just for fun. Install the magnet, and then, so this is just a strong magnet in the center. Yeah, so this, this one doesn't go too far out. But this is the furriest one we've made yet. Do we like it, Spotty? My worry like is that? it's not like integrated. But then also if I go over yeah, then, this, then like, I'm gonna mess up the texture. Yeah. It's on there. It's on there. And it is sticking. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's sticking. I think that looks pretty good, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's neat. Yeah, I think that one's cool. It's it's unique. It's unique. The two duochrome ones are my favorites so far. I think. Um, I really, I really like these a lot. I kind of want to do two more pigment ones. I kind of want to do two pig more pigment ones. Let's we steal have... the two rings. Yeah, let's steal the two rings. Oh yeah, that way we have two rings and two solids. Two solids. Okay, cool. So in terms of duochromes, which one should we do? Yeah. There's like a yellowy, but I, my worry with the yellow is trying to get, like getting magnetic paint, yellowy or orangey, it's just gonna look like baby poop. <laughs> it's gonna look like baby poop. Or, okay, let's do it. I think let's go for the baby poop. Okay. Let's go for the baby poop. Okay, baby poop finale. I'm gonna dry this piece. If anyone comes in right now, they're gonna be very confused. Just take it like a Polaroid picture. Exactly, I'm trying to dry it. I'm gonna do both at the same time. 
<laughs> Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> You're drying them? I'm drying them. <laughs> Silent disco, Kaylin. Yeah. <laughs> hey. One thing I'm gonna do before we get too excited about the path we're moving forward on, so I'm gonna open these up and see how they look. What do you mean open them? The uh, the pigments. I mean, those are cool. I kind of like Wait those. Wait a second. What? We could like dry brush it with the mica. But here's the worry. And it might not stick as much, but I think it might. So here, here was the suggestion I yeah. made much earlier when we were first debating doing this. Mm -hmm. I think the best way is let it dry fully. That mm -hmm. way the shape isn't fully. disrupted. Then spray on like a clear adhesive and then dry brush it on. See, what I would suggest is, cause like a lot of people like, you know when they paint their nails and then they like dry brush on, you know, like a duochrome. But is it not wet a little bit? No, it's not wet at all. It's, it's fully dry. It is glossy and it does kind of adhere to it. But I think it would adhere to this even more. We'll try brushing it on one of the dry ones. All right. I am going to use just this little brush right here, just okay. to kind of like see what happens. Okay. Whoa! But we have to Whoa. see if it sticks, but we have to see if it sticks. Now, like one thing we could do is we could like do this, and then we could spray on like a finish, like a quick drying varnish. Yeah, on top of it. On top of it. We could do that. Um, I have some super fast drying wood finish. Also, uh -huh. I kind of like seeing a little color under there before you cover all of it. All right. I just wanted to make it even. Yeah. And we're going to lose them when I spray it. Yeah. All right. So you want to take that out there and I'm going to take this out it? there. I'm going to spray it. Should I come out? Should I follow you with the handheld cam? All right. So this is the finish that I'm using right here. It's a clear wood finish. It's a lacquer spray. All right. Ready? Yeah. What if it all just disappears? Let's hope it doesn't all blow away. Ooh, that looks cool. And that also adds like a bit of gloss to it. Ooh, love, I, I'm liking it. Is this what we do to the rest? Maybe. Well, one thing that we could do, we have a whole bunch of really neat things. We can, we can dust them. Yeah, we don't need to, because the texture on those is good. We just wanted the shiny. So we'll we dust them the with shiny. shiny. And should we also spread out the shiny on these two afterwards? Yeah, let's see what finishes we have. Okay. The green, the green one could be oh, cool. Oh, blue, green, gold. Oh, blue, green, gold. Blue, green, gold. This looks a little bit white. It's a little light. I'm gonna look through these. Purple, red, blue, green. Let's try it. Ooh, you could also add this. Uh, but I've already started, I've done so much of this one. You can do this also. I think that's a, it's a slightly better fit. It is a better fit. I, I actually don't really like this one anymore. Oh, sorry. Here, what I'll do is here, I'll, I'll kind of dust it off the best I can. Okay. I'll kind of hit it upside down. Mm, I think we might have to do a new one. Why don't you try adding some on? Okay. That's better. Oh yeah, that's covering it. It's covering it. Okay, it's covering, it's covering it. it. It's covering, it's covering, it. It's covering it, everyone. It. We're saving it. So okay. we, have, we have one that is done and we are working on more. Wow. Wow. This one, I, I still think we should do one more ring. So actually, I think so too. we might want to work do, do that, that now, now so it has time to dry because this ring, we didn't get a good texture around it. So how about you do another ring while I continue to glitter this one? All right. That is some baby vomit. Yep. Poop sludge. But soon, poop sludge. soon, look at that. It won't be poop sludge anymore. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I like All it. All right, cool. Okay. Nice in between. We'll set that aside, let it dry. And in the meantime, I think we can spread out the old duochromes. Ta 
Ta-da! I think they look very cohesive and like they're actually a piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we admit that I just did this like a dry run right before this and I dropped one? Okay, I wasn't gonna say <laughs> that you dropped it. Also, you didn't drop one. Two of them fell off. Which is why we're holding it at an angle. At because an angle. we just wow. attached them and it's maybe not the, the strongest attachment. We're gonna get to that later. Yeah. But look, look at how nice look at they that. look. Look at that. Let's show some final shots. I'm really happy with that. Uh,